I'm Maren Swanson, CEO of LoveHappyHour.com and host of Making It With Maren. I'm here to share with you my love for drinks, food, and deals. Together, we can explore the happiest of hours and a whole lot more. Cheers. Do you want to go to Paris in fall, but you don't have thousands of dollars saved up and weeks of vacation time built up to just jet off to the most romantic city in the world? Well, neither do I. And that's okay because I've got you covered. Today, we are making my Parisian-inspired fall cocktail in the privacy of our own home. Let's get shaken. Start with two pears, preferably the Bartlett varietal. Once the pears are very ripe, yellowish, and slightly bruised, peel off their skin and bruises. Remove the seeds and slice them up. Place your pear slices in a food processor and add one teaspoon of white granulated sugar and one tablespoon of fresh lemon juice. Next, pulse your pears in the processor until the texture becomes very smooth. Once it's ready, place the pear puree in an airtight container in the refrigerator until you are ready to use it. Pause the screen now and gather all your ingredients and bar tools. Now we're ready to make our drink. Start by muddling one strawberry. The riper the strawberry, the better. And make sure you slice off the leafy top. Now you're gonna wanna add one ounce of your choice of spiced rum. Next, add one ounce of white or silver rum. Now you're gonna wanna add one ounce of apple cider. You could use apple juice, but apple cider makes all the difference. Next, add three quarters of an ounce of fresh squeezed lemon juice. For that extra hint of fall spice, you're gonna wanna add one whole clove to the mixture. And now add one quarter ounce of fig preserves. All right, now it's time to add our star ingredient, our pre-prepared pear puree. All right, grab some fresh ice, throw it in your shaker tin, and then place your drink mixture into the tin. I am so excited because now the fun part starts. Grab your shaker tin top, place it securely on your shaker tin, and shake, shake, shake. Shake until that tin turns frosty. Now we're ready to pour. I found this amazing vintage uh, little coupe glass at the flea market, so I'm gonna use that. And now you're gonna strain your fresh liquid cold mixture over a cocktail strainer. You can also use a home strainer, but this just makes it a little easier to fit in the glass. Um, once the mixture's almost through, if it gets a little slow, you just grab a spoon from your drawer and press it through to get all that lovely mixture in the glass. For the final touch, I added some fresh sage leaves as a garnish, but you can also use a fresh strawberry as well. Congratulations, you've just crafted my Fall in Paris cocktail. Let's get tasting. Oh, the flavors are so well balanced. You can taste that pear with a little zing from the lemon juice. And then the apple juice and spice rum really balances it out. I'm telling you, Try this and you will fall in love with fall in Paris. <laughs> Cheers. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can get more cocktails, easy to make and affordable, right at your door. I feel like I am in Paris as we speak. Bonjour.